Hey, good day everybody. This is a little update to the build of my uh, extended range pack. It's, this is just the test pack uh, of uh, 96 cells in series 2 in parallel. As I said before, these are two halves. So here I got uh, 48 and another 48, which makes it 96 total. So for this pack, the pack positive is here. These two have to be connected to a lead to give my positive out. And on this end is under there. There's a, this negative connection. I put a magnet to, to put the test leads on to show you the voltage. So if you follow through here, there's nothing. Uh, there's no leads right now on this one because this is the positive. Then underneath is the negative. So there's a bridge on, in the, underneath. I'll, I'll show you after. And then this is bridged. This is bridged. And that these two are bridged to that one, and so on and so forth goes all the way through here to the end. So this is half the pack. So I've got my voltmeter here and let's see how many volts we read. So 182.3 total voltage. So again, like I said, that's a half of the voltage. So you will double that um, to be once the, the packs are bridged together. Uh, so 182 divided by 48 that's roughly 3.8 volts which makes sense so these batteries uh, I started testing a long time ago and when I was done testing them I would charge them to 3 point, roughly 3.8 um, as from my research that's the appropriate storage voltage so these don't have much energy in them it's I think 3.8 is maybe 30 to 40 percent charge so this is my second pack that i just started working on so right now all you can see is the the leads that i've soldered on on one side and like i uh, will have you seen in my other videos it's, these are just um leads from uh, resistors you can get them really cheap on ebay so they're very easy to solder and um, they they're very easy to work with so I'll just flip this over quickly, I'll take this off. So here you can see that's the same this bridge that goes across through. So it's uh it's not too bad, uh it takes a little bit of time but it's um once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quick. You can see here these are mostly Samsung cells. Uh, find that a lot of the Samsungs turned out to be very good. Uh, actually, the bulk of my cells are probably Samsung, so you can see that they're mostly pink. On here, I have some uh, some gray ones which are looked at are Panasonic. These are Panasonic. These were the highest capacity cells, uh, and now I understand why. Uh, Tesla went with Panasonic for their 18650 cells. They seem to be the best. Unfortunately, of the packs that I get, I don't get too many Panasonics. I get mostly Samsungs, but still pretty good. So that's it for today. I'll continue my build.